All right, we about to do a reaction video of uh, Tory Lanez and shit. Uh, Megan Thee Stallion. About to get straight to it. Meg Thee Stallion says she hasn't experienced a single day of peace since being shot by Tory Lanez in 2020. Well, today, Megan finally got some closure. He started shooting, and I'm just like, oh, my God. Tory. I need y'all to comment about how genuine that oh my god and that crowd was. Hold on, bro. She don't like him. When females get mad at a nigga and they don't fuck with you, nigga, fuck you. He started shooting, and I'm just like, oh my god. And, and you shot, so she really is kind of scared in a way a little bit. <laughs> Tory, whose real name is Daystar Peterson, was sentenced to 10 years in prison for firing a gun at Meg and leaving her with bullet fragments in her feet. The sentence handed down was incredibly harsh. Really just another example of someone being punished for their celebrity status. Megan's powerful victim statement was read aloud in court yesterday. She says she still can't bring herself to be in the same room as Tori. She's spiraled into a dark place and will never be the same. She also wants the judge to send a message because, quote, mercy can only be granted to those who accept responsibility. I spoke with Tori's attorney, Jose Baez, who says his client is suffering. Yes, he's innocent. He did not shoot the gun. Correct. Correct. Is your client remorseful? He is incredibly remorseful and ashamed and embarrassed that all of this happened. He's in solitary confinement 23 hours a day. He can't even go to take a shower without chains. It's essentially a living hell. Eight witnesses who were called into court to speak on Tory's behalf, two were recalled by the defense, and there were many others who wrote letters, like Iggy Azalea, who explained her support for Tory by saying that she's all for prison reform, not throwing away anyone's life. Sir, did you have any comment going into what does that mean? So is she on Tory today? Once again, Tory's dad was in court to show his support for his son. Before his sentencing, Tory spoke for several minutes, saying he still cares dearly for Megan, despite what she may think of him. Like Tory, Megan also lost her mother, and he talked about how the two bonded by drinking until they, quote, got numb. It was an emotional day for Tory's supporters. There will be an appeal no matter what. Everything one step at a time. So they had a bond. They had a bond. They was doing it. Situation happened. He turned up. And he probably usually turned up with his voice and shit. And this time, a <coughs> gun could have fell. Man, I don't know what happened. At this, at this point, Tory was snitching be your best option and tell everybody who actually did it. I don't know, man. I'm talking shit. I'm not saying snitching is an option, but look at him. He about to do 10 years, you know. And, um, I mean, it really ain't no snitching because it's like she's the person that got shot saying it's you, so you're fucked. Anyways, man, like, comment, share, subscribe. Own the shirt, and I'm coming every fucking time. So